Uh, today's been a really crazy day, um, and it's just about to get crazier by the stuff I'm going to say in this video, so be prepared. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Lauren, for those of you who don't know or like just clicked on here by accident, I don't know. It's a pretty windy day. So the first thing I wanna talk about is basically how we are in a false reality. I know, it's far-fetched. But if you think about it, it is so true. The facts behind it is really true. Because if you think about it, our may we are put in this materialistic type of reality where physical things and things we have and buy and take it, it's materialistic and our reality is limited due to the fact of our five limited senses our touch sight smell sound and hearing it's limited by that because we can only hear to a certain amount of frequencies we can't hear a dog's whistle or any other higher pitched frequencies we can't see we can only see color between ultraviolet and infrared we can only see colors in between so if you think about it their original reality is something way more than the reality we're used to but our brains just can't process it because it is rational and logical and it tries to make sense of everything but it's just perceiving it into this illusion that we are in right now and it's crazy to think about because this world does not look like this world in an, uh, in the original reality it's just, just this is what our brains process it as and this is what we perceive it as this materialistic world and and you know that because you think about it you you know that you're made up of atoms but you can't see those atoms and you can't see the forces that are holding the atoms together but in the original reality you can see everything that comes in this universe including all of colors all the frequencies all of the 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 atoms and, and the things that make up things and it's just too overwhelming for our human brains to understand and so we are leveled down by this alternate reality of illusion of what our brain makes sense of and it's really weird to think about also um, this means that we are connected to a higher self or a higher um, energy um, we have to be because that that higher entity sees all of those higher frequencies and is able to understand it so but yet we are projected into these human sacks of blood um, that are made of atoms um, and we are only able to understand what we perceive you know you know some people call that higher self God or, or some people believe it's it's you know the universe or um, it could be many different things or just a regular higher self um, but it could be many different things in the the the, the quantum micro world lies all of the answers to everything, to what we all question all the time, to what everything is made of, to what all of all of everything is, basically, the world. It's all the answers that we've been looking for for years. So that's, that's all what scientists look for and, and explain, but we can't explain it because, we, again, we are only limited to our five senses. But I do think that the higher entity um, that people um, are connected to... Oh, uh, that is a hornet. Or no, that's a wasp, actually. God, okay. There, there's a divine beauty in everybody, and, and that is that higher entity that acknowledges it, and that we are all together. We are all together in this. We are all the same form. We are all, sorry, wind. We are all mammals on this earth, and just, we're all just going through time, experiencing life together, this, this crazy, world that we perceive as life and, and we are all together and, and, and love is the only language that everybody uses and connects through. Reality is limitless. It, it, it goes on forever but we can't see that because again we only uh, can see things with our five senses and uh, what they are able to process and perceive. Uh, space is unlimited and time is eternal. 
it goes on forever. Um, you know, things things don't last forever, but time does definitely last forever. It keeps going. It's here. But yeah, we are we are just humans, blobs of mammals and atoms all bunched together who are able to make sense of things or try to make sense of things at least and question things. And we're all on a rock, just floating in outer space, and we're just little space molecules, uh, basically. I don't think anybody's opinions matter because, and I'll tell you why the reason why opinions don't matter is because everybody is living in their own reality and everyone has their own perception of people and you cannot change that perception of people so um, they already made your mind up about you before you even said any words because you're in their reality and they think of what they think of you as what they would regularly think about anybody once you are living in that person's reality they make their mind up about you um, and and you have no control over their reality so it really doesn't matter because their perception of you um, is based on a characteristic that you play. Um, because we are all playing a character and I don't think that any of us are really us. Um, because we're all trying to be this person that everybody likes and everybody accepts and everybody thinks is funny. I think everyone is just playing a character and in this game called life and everyone's trying to win at it. And honestly, I don't think life is a game uh, that can be one because I think you can beat death with life but it all depends on on how you choose to perceive things and think about things and live things out so we are living in other people's realities and they have their own opinions um, that are not that, that it doesn't even matter because you're because they're in your reality and you make up you know them basically you know you understand their character and keep on moving with life. And that's why um, people's opinions don't matter, is because you're not in their reality, you're in your reality. So, also, individuality is non-existent as well. Think of as I just said, I think everybody is playing a character and individuality is a concept that society has made up that um, makes us feel bad about ourselves and makes us want to change ourselves and makes us really insecure about ourselves and um you know and i mean you know believing in yourself is is, is great and believing in your individuality is a, another good thing but i think that it comes to a certain extent of where it um it becomes so much individuality that it, do it doesn't exist anymore it's it's false it's just a concept everything everything is just an idea because if you think about it china it's just an idea. Japan is just an idea. Canada is just an idea. Awards that you get, that you receive, is just an idea. You know, everything is just an idea and, and when your individuality is based on those um, ideas, you know, it gets a little, um, you get caught up in that egotism um, where you think that uh, you need to get whatever is best for your for your character that you're playing, your ego. And so awards don't matter. Um, it's just, you know, an idea. Uh, the government is just an idea. Everything is just an idea that society has told us is true, basically. I think that's why depression is so romanticized is because people are playing themselves. People are their characters. And, you know, they get, you know, Jim Carrey said, that when we are depressed, our bodies get tired of playing that character. So, um, it's, it's our bodies telling us that we're tired. We're tired of playing this character. We're tired of being ourselves, that we think is ourselves. But it's really the character that we're playing, you know? Um, we are really everything. We are connected with everything. We are one with everything. Um, and, 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 you know, our culture is basically to, you know, um, connect and to love and to be one with another and that's what it should be but it's also these materialistic things of, of you know you should have this kind of skin tone and this kind of thing to look beautiful and really represent the beautifulness of the world or that's not a word beautiness uh, like okay it's more like you know beauty but I think I think our, our, our society 
fixates on um, egotism and, and feeding it and um, really just preying on our um, consumerism and just trying us to buy things that we don't really need because we feel the need we need it. I think we need as a whole to connect to that higher self um, because the higher self understands everything and we're just here um, portrayed down to a level of where we understand things and in this illusion how we can only see certain types of things and hear certain type of things. And I, I wanted to tell you guys that um, reality isn't real reality, it's a version of real reality. Um, it's an illusion of real reality and I think that materialism is a huge problem and consumerism is a huge problem especially in you know the, the United States which is also an idea um, but you know uh, and yeah I think people care too much about their things that they have um, and uh, I feel like we should focus more on um, getting back and connected to the earth and um, with God or that higher self and yeah so that's what I just wanted to let you guys know um, I hope this made sense I hope you kind of understood this if you didn't um, sorry <laughs> I tried to make it as you know I, I wrote some things down um, or at least try to to get my point across but um, you know it's it's difficult to under you know to explain this type of uh, topic but yeah that's uh, you know that's what I really think about sometimes this is what I think about in um, English class okay like I literally wrote all this stuff down and was thinking really hard about it in English and I was watching these kind of videos that were also kind of about this topic yeah it's intense um <laughs> but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys like it opened your minds um, and change them to where like you don't care like oh I have like freckles all the way up my arms or I have um, I have one leg and um, people are gonna be looking at me because I have one leg um, and really it doesn't matter because you're in your own reality and you can make it whatever you want and you're in their reality and they already perceived you a certain way so it doesn't really matter what um, they think of you is because you're your own reality you are everything you are the earth you are the birds you are the the the, the annoying spiders and the annoying gnats like you are everything that's that's what this 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 energy inside all of us is is it's we are one with everything and um, yeah this whole quantum theory is is weird but it you know it is it is something that I do think is explaining everything kind of in a way um, which is pretty cool to think about sometimes um, if you think I'm absolutely nuts and insane give this video a like um, or comment down below giving you know me what you guys perceive life is um, you know it, I mean it is what it is you guys probably think I'm nuts but you know what I'm in my own reality I mean in a way it doesn't really matter um, if you guys think I'm weird or not because I can make my reality whatever I want and there's a plane so anyways okay hi welcome to editing Lauren yes welcome this is you know my, my laptops over here it's great so I just wanted to say um everything is linked down in the description below including my Patreon page so if you want to go support and check out all the fun stuff that's going down over there you can um it's available to you and everything else is linked there too so go check it out subscribe to my channel <laughs> because I make weird videos like this sometimes and it gets out of control <laughs> um yeah so i'll see you guys all in the next video Bye.